Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. Today I want to talk to you about whether narcissists are happy or not. There is a pervasive idea in society, often perpetrated by narcissists themselves, that pathologically narcissistic people are unstressed, carefree, and happy. This could not be further from the truth in most cases, so I want to talk about that on the show today. Narcissists are generally not happy people. It would be probably fair to say that most narcissists don't even know what real happiness is. Now, of course, there are many people of all types who don't know what true happiness is, but unlike pathologically narcissistic people, they probably have at least the capacity for happiness, even if they've not tapped into it yet. It is questionable whether narcissists even have the capacity for happiness at all. Many more than likely do not. To narcissistic people, happiness would probably be described not as the presence of a feeling, but rather as the absence of other feelings. If they are not feeling worthless, they would probably say they're feeling happy. If they're not feeling angry, then they would probably say they're feeling happy. Their understanding of emotion is often very poor, as is their expression of emotion, and many times when asked, they cannot describe their feelings beyond basic language. Sad, mad, bad. Their interpretation of happiness then could perhaps be better described as not mad or not sad, as opposed to being understood as its own separate thing. Narcissistic people usually have a very low capacity for happiness because they are so overwhelmingly negative. Everything is a hassle and a problem and a bother for them. Everything is a huge issue. It's not just because they're in a bad mood from their own self-abuse and self-hatred, although that is part of it. It's also because they won't allow themselves to just be happy. They can't leave well enough alone. If something good does happen, they can usually be counted on to ruin it for themselves somehow and for other people. Inside, they believe, either consciously or subconsciously, that they don't deserve anything, including to be happy. That's why you see so much self-sabotage and self-defeat with pathologically narcissistic people. Narcissistic people believe they must be perfect, and anything less than that is a total and epic failure. They chase success, but they don't find it because their standards are unreasonable and because any result other than perfection is regarded as an indictment of them as a person. They also have the formula backwards. Chasing success will not bring you happiness. However, chasing happiness has been shown to create success. Narcissists attach all their perceived failures to their own self-worth because they have no real way to regulate or balance that, which of course results in disaster. When you're unable to accept yourself, you're not going to be happy. You won't even be satisfied. The closest they can come is probably need fulfillment. When their needs have been fulfilled, they may be content for a time. The problem with this is that there's always another need and therefore it can't last. Happiness is not something you find. Happiness is something you create by being open to it and by breaking negative thinking patterns. True happiness comes from within, from self-love and self-worth and accepting yourself and other people. It's safe to say that in that area, at least, narcissists are barren and empty. I hope this cleared a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions, so please keep those coming. Don't forget, I am now taking appointments in a limited capacity, so visit littleshaman.org and press the booking tab to schedule an appointment with me. You've been listening to the Meditations and more podcasts brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and more podcasts brought to you by littleshaman.org. Oh, sh- Quiet! Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by Earth Mama's Apothecary and LittleShaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. Today I want to talk to you about whether narcissists are happy or not. The answer to that is no. I hope this clears a few... (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. (laughs) 